Ah, this is the very first Rockstar game that I have ever owned. Also, this first time I'm, I'll be playing a Rockstar game in this channel. What is up, lads? Cats and Corral here with a brand new gameplay. Of course, it is LA Noir. It is the remastered edition for PS4. And I am, I am excited. I know this is not as long as other Rockstar games, I think. Even for its for when this released originally, like in 2011. I think it's like 20 hours plus. I don't know if that was the standard uh, uh, standard regular time that the player would finish this, but let's see. Uh, I hope it's gonna be maybe even can be like a good replacement for the Mafia series because I fucking love Mafia too. No lie. All I can do is press a new game, so let's go on with that. And shit, my boys. I know a little about this. We're detectives, I know that. Verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The cars do the car, it. The symbol of freedom and vitality. And I, I think this is 60 frames per second. I know there's 4K Ultra included in this gameplay. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The classic neighborhood? The city where a man's home is his or castle. The, a quarter the acre of the dream made possible by victory. I want the city one, at least two one of these era cars. Boys era, I don't care. It looks so damn The city of dreams. Cooler. Or Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. Hmm. Hollywood land. I know that all of that was on the, whatever hill that that Hollywood sign is on, but I have no idea when the land just pissed, pissed off from the rest of Hollywood. The human mind. A city of undercurrents. Oh, is that fucking Maslow's hierarchy of needs and shit? Yes, I can tell that shit. I can tell from that fucking period. A 20th century, century city period. become a model for the world. I'm gonna explore this. This, just city from this intro, no I can boundaries. I can tell I can have a little shit ton of fun to explore. As far as the eye can Illuminati. See. Hmm. So, game, where are you gonna drop me off? In the Marine Corps, Upon you deal reflection. with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. Oh, yes. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, the scene of the attack of an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Alright, shot. Ooh, yes. Here we go again. They don't yes, request uniforms here. for an evidence search unless there's some kind of oh, catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Oh, Shit. I'm trying to be civil, okay? We're just sure this nation is marked with a yellow icon. I can tell from the map. Alleyway crime scene. Floyd the Rose, cars, homicide. Man. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a All tall right. white guy our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try okay. and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. 
I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Oh Jesus! Don't be an asshole. All right, so we're lowly copper lads. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Hold Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the right. back wall. I know how to adjust if my camera. Still don't come up with anything. Come find Ooh, me. Oh wait, 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 we'll wait. We'll talk it out. Two heads Press are R3 for one. reverse camera view. Yes. So much better than Danganronpa. Music will fade down to indicate that all the clues out of this. Wait, what? Look at this junk. Oh. What do you think? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. A chime or magnifying glass icon indicates objects nearby. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. This bottle. I doubt it. I don't think we can do anything, eh? Probably much better if we had gloves, anything? yeah? Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Uh, well, I want to take a look at this first. Is going to be relevant. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Where the fuck are you, dude? Oh wait, You're, Jesus! Why the hell are you over there? Ah, blood stain, of course. And flickering, flickering. We're never lights, gonna I find see. it. It's a waste of time. Right. Hmm. A new clue. Shooter put him stain. up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Hmm. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. What's? <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, that Phelps. Black thing over there. Okay. Found clues are bleeding out to your notebook. All right. Hmm. Are you down for just out uh, alleyway? Ah. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Right. How? Oh. Ladder somewhere? No, that's a light post. How's this? The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Yes, I'm just, I'm just looking at shit. Okay. I can't go through here. Okay. Right. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Oh, I can climb drain pipes, okay. Right. Cool beans. You want me to Oh, it's on this roof. What's that? How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Yes, I have. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Smith and West revolver. Cool. It's all loaded, right? Two rounds fired. Oh. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Hmm. We should follow right. up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. All right, old. Uh. Right, detective. Floroys? Um, homicide. Okay. Murder suspect. Tall Caucasian male, okay. Scooter Pewson. Black man murdered. Shot twice, point blank. Damn. Wait. Hmm. Okay. I heard that cat. I want to get the hell out of here. We have the gun, Cole. Let's yes, take it I'm back to down. Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. 
It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right, cool. Use my notebook to set what? Ah, locations. Right. Gun store. Boom. Are you sure about this? It's my not really dog. our gig. No harm in doing my some dog, digging. Please. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. <laughs> It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Exactly. Right. Don't worry about us. Triangle to enter. <laughs> right. Hey, what's the sound? Nope. There you go. L3. Move along, citizens. Jesus Christ, get out of here. Where's my lights? Why are they... Why is there not lights on my... Shit! Oh. oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean that. I'm trying to be a good cop, okay? Because that's what Cole seems to be like. Oh, good, wholesome cop. Alright, this person will look what's up. Excuse me. Excuse all me. Oh shit. Ow. Let's mm. move aside. Where the fuck is it? Take the next left. Take the next left. Alright. I should ask for directions earlier. Oh, okay. Here, okay. Nothing alive. Feels like the steering thing a little sensitive. But it could be just me. Doesn't I feel hyped. Gun store boy, what's up, dude? Gold handled door. Officers Phelps and Doug. Okay. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same pearl gun used grips. by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. No, you seem to know a lot it's... about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind ah. if I take a look? Be my guest. Right, this is so about something big, right? Right. right. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Uh, walnut grip, walnut, wal square butt grip? Oh, where's that? Ah, pearl grip. Wait, is there any more that I missed? Like mostly walnut. Yeah, I think this is the one. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Hmm. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Alright, nice to know that you would. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. That's true. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Uh, uh, destination, there you go. I think we can go here. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Let's go. Cross the street. Yes, I know. Inspect a mailbox. Ah. Hello. Number two. Schroeder. Harbin two. All right. 
The pot looks smashed. Yeah, the pot plant has been smashed. Wait, what's this? Can't inspect it. Two, 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 that's three. Two. Dos. With milk. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Oh. Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, have... he works for me. I have a have gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Ah. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, what? Oh, come on, dude. You ready, tough guy? Yeah, punch. Ooh. Oh, damn it. No. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, he's still going? Got him. Ooh. Ralph. Who? You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's yeah, lucky sure. he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. Right. I'm going to take a look around. You sure you need the rifle or you sure you want the revolver on him? Right. What's this? Oh, that's my hat. Okay, cool. Majestic Tales. Is this collectible? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought it would be collectible. Uh, back to Mafia 2. I remember the collectibles. I think it was like Playboy posters and suspect posters. No good to me. Hmm. Wait, let's go back to the drawer real quick. Wait. Come on. Oh. What's this book about, Sino? Turn pages. 20? Are these ages? And dates you killed some? List of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Hey, what? Oh, you found evidence, you fuck. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Ah. <sighs> oh, wait, we're not detecting this. Yes, we can't do that. What the hell is this, man? Trains. Is this cold when he just got up? Huh. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, ass wipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. <laughs> the Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. Uh, what are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Oh. Jesus Christ. Ah, specific electric. 
Can I get any follow-ups about the hell's happening? Long loading screen? Not that long. Armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like yeah. politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only right. ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. Right. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 to Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Right. right. Let me check the recording real quick. Uh, we, we can have some more fun. Right. It's only been like, what, 24 minutes? Right. Um. Wait, shit. Come on. Come on, your car. Is this it? I think I fell into the wrong thing. No, damn it, I just went a, a really complicated way around. Okay. Okay. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. Oh, oh, damn. What a beard. What a fucking beard that is. Alright, teach me the gun play. Got him. Oh, he did. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Weapons armor. on the ground, now! They're not gonna listen. Where? Forward! <laughs> Try for the Ooh. front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. Yes, I got it. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Back up right. over here soon. Move in. I am already in cover. Why is nobody covering me? LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance to. Chance, copper. Okay. <laughs> Stay down. No, no. Get out of here. I can blind fire as well, but I just want to get this man. Ooh, what a blood spatter. I see you up top. Was that a Tommy that he weld? That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all yeah. clear. All right. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. You bet your ass. <sighs> oh, another flashback? This kind of opportunity? Comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? Why not? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Ah, <sighs> you die if you're just retarded. You live if you actually know what you're doing or you actually have good partners around you. Cole Phelps and Jack Lawrence, Kelso. Outstanding. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Hmm. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. 
Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. <laughs> I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LAPD! God damn it. <laughs> you just threw me in here. Why Shit. you watch it? Run towards the object. Okay, He's I don't have to press the press button. Ooh, damn. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Ooh, yes. Bowers, hold it right there. Name. Stop now, okay, or I will it. shoot. Shoot him. I won't tell you again, shot Wendell. Him. Jesus, son, watch your fire. You don't want to do this, Wendell. No, 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 fuck. I had to keep Get holding up. Right oh, shit. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh wait. Oh, you're in that pipe. Okay. You're lucky. That suspect is lucky. I can't jump. Do I? I probably could. I just don't know There's how. No way. I'm going back inside. You better. You go, You have to, dude. Come on. I've done my time. Oh, I automatically jump just by. It's over, the Bowers. Assholes already screwed me once. Come on, Sono. Jeez. Give it up, Bowers. <laughs> There's nowhere left to go. He's giving up one hell of a chase. Oh. oh. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Ooh. Okay. Come on then, pretty. Oh no. Got him. Come on. Alright. Ooh. Oh. How you doing, on, Wendell? Man. Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You ah. can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Uh, nice yeah. work, Cole. You run track in high school? No. No. You you bet your ass I don't. All right, so Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps decoys. and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Hmm. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. All right. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. I don't Kowalski, get this. 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, uh, in my office, now. Ah, uh, got him. Yeah, I got him. Hmm. Okay, I'm starting to think that just... These photos just tell me about what's going to happen. Or the locations I'm going to be visiting. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. Oh. This could be the one goal. Oh. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. He's... He looks dead. Okay, stand cool. further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. Your first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. All right, K, okay, bro. Broad dead daylight. Dead body. Crowded street. Examination. I've seen everything. 
Everybody stay hmm. back. Let us do our job. Head. Hmm. So that's I think that's normal. Wait. Okay, there's nothing in there. How about the arms? Uh, nothing? Alright. Uh, how about your left arm? Or your right arm, I mean. Nothing. You're kidding me. No, not the head. I want the chest. Or at least the torso. No. Oh. What's this? Bank of Arcadia? Ticket. Layaway value. See Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Alright. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Is that it? I can track. Okay, I think that's it. Let's back out. Um, there's a golden thing here. Bullets or casings, I mean. Shell casings. These look like thirty twos. Point thirty two. Uh oh, uh, that narrows the gun to handgun, I think. Um, anything up down here? You seen anything? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. A girl? You want to take a look around now? Witness. The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Wait, hold I'm Officer oh, Phelps. Shit. Miss, I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Your Mr. Boss? Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Everett. Galleta. Ah, his family. Clovis Galleta. Right. On the left. All right. Questions are also on the right. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. They're looking a lot to I the heard left. shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> They're not really she's not even really looking at me either. Press triangle, okay. Can I Good cop, bad cop accused. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Shit. <laughs> oh, so it, this. Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. Tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God! Mm. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. <sighs> Mr. Kalu. This whammon. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Uh -huh. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, made and yells at me okay. to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, 
and I hear a loud bang. Uh, Mr. Gage shot. clutches at his back. I hear the another bang. bang. And another, and another. Oh, the back shot was the Mr. first Mr. Gage shot. falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Boom. Possible murder suspect. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person right. who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing very the gun. Angry. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Ah, poor bastard. Press square to act bad cop. Well, you're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. Jews? It's not my fault if he has nice things. <laughs> Jews? <laughs> you fucking say Jews. Use R1 to observe the suspect. Oh, this is actually cool. Right. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. What? It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Did you think... It sounds like she's sincere. She's shaking her head. I think she... But I'm not gonna lie. Her just looking around frantically. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that you mean I can still collect my... 15 plus. My... Never mind. Yes, your golden, officer, I'll your make earrings statement. will meme. Wait. Oh, there's something in the trash. It's the gun. Ooh. Wait, damn it. Where's your serial I number? Find Browning. Serial number zero one one three eight. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from. Me. Oh, shit. we have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Yeah, you said that too. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. All right. Investigate. Oh, shit. Get in the car. Yes. Yeah, right. Store or the gun store. I'll go to jewelry store. Right, don't mind me. This might be a really long episode, but I, I'll try not to make it that long. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there it is. That's a swell enough. Oh. Jewelry store. Alright. Officer! Hello. Can I interest you in a new watch? No. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll lie buzz him down. for you. Right. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, oh. go! Shit. Damn it. Fucking hell. You're kidding me with this. Get the fuck back here, dude. 
Kalu, get back here. Hey, what? Root beers all around, doll. Damn it. But you, you want me to shoot? Oh, permission. Do I even have permission to shoot to kill? Where's that dude? Ne Too late, Kalu. Damn it. Why I got a call back for that universal cord line. Come back. Come back, man. Alright, this looks like a run straight away. Get me out of here. Ooh. Stop or Ooh. I will shoot! Nice. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Which I could have went to an that gun store though. The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. Did I get it right or did the I get it wrong? The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. Mm -hmm. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. Oh, Irishman. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to uh -huh. mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. <laughs> but I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. Takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. Hmm. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Violence? How are that? you feeling, lad? I'm guessing Fine, that's just sir. last resort. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your right. chance. Don't fail me. Ah. <coughs> uh, ah. Uh, shit. Bruv. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. No. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Ah, right. All right. All right, review evidence. Uh, keep your evidence in mind during an interview in order to identify false statements. All right. He's looking directly at me. Okay. Let's start with the voucher. Okay. Let's start the argument. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he mm. got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. All right. Ah, oh, you're not looking towards me. Intuition? Oh, I guess those are hints, okay. Move an answer. Alright. Ooh. Ah, uh, should it be the voucher? Wait. Damn. That's good cop, this man. I don't know why I'm bothering no. to try to help you here, Mr. Kalu. I could stand in front of the grand jury and say that you showed no remorse. The defendant 
is a cold-blooded killer. Very good, Boychik. Kiss my ass. I know what you're doing. I think I'll wait for my lawyer to get here before I make any kind of statement. You sure? I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Ah, uh, I got to go. He's violent, don't I? You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, is it her witness statement? We know all about yes! the argument. Scaletta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew hating chamber. fuck couldn't leave me alone. Ooh. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Possible religious motive? He thinks he's about to die. Let's change the subject. Or not die. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're That's one true. of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's use intuition. Move an answer. Fuck. Mm. I think it's too bad, cop. You yes. left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that goy. stupid Gage! Ooh. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu. Oh. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Ooh. Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Ah. Poor sad salesman. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't he it screamed bad? at me twice. Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young folks. The department needs heroes. A shining, right. honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Right. Yeah. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. You're making me a detective, huh? Cool beans. Right. Um, anything to show? Ooh, ooh, yes, yes. Well, sound investigation technique, nice. Police Academy trophy obtained, and I think I'm gonna end off here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this episode, and don't forget to subscribe and share with other friends. And I shall see you in whatever episode you watch next, Chairman. Peace. Bye.